Blog Talk Radio. Um, even some financial advice. Some of everything is in there. 
Okay. Now, today's topic is a serious one. It's a very vital one to me. Uh, I've seen plenty of brothers go through this. I swear, I've seen a whole bunch of people go through this. Where you're dealing with man-eaters. In other words, women with a high sex drive that see a man and just go after them. And they pretty much act like dudes in a way. But then again, you mess around and make love to them the right way. <laughs> they can mess around and get stuck on you. And boom. You have hell on your hands or whatever. You know what I mean? And they're child support traps because a lot of these man-eaters, they're the main ones that'll put you on a child support trap. And you don't need that, fellas. You don't need that. I've seen too many brothers go through this. And a lot of the information I'm going to bestow to you today comes from their experiences and a few that come from my alley, up my alley or what have you, that I've dealt with. So, yeah, what's a man-eater? A man-eater, like I said before, is a female that, that tends to be sexually aggressive. They hunt, go out, just seek meat, <laughs> if you will, all right? Just high sex drive, quick to talk to a guy if they see him that they think is cute or what have you. You know, they'll walk up to you, ask for your number, doing all kinds of wild stuff. Like, I came across one female that was a bit of a man-eater, and I, I let her go quickly because I knew this chick was batshit crazy, you know? I got approached her at a club. We was talking. Well, I didn't approach her. I was just standing in the back, and I had my scully. See, I have long dreads now down my back. This one, I still had an afro and braids. So I had my hair braided, and I had a scully over it hanging down low, covering half my eyes or what have you, because, you know, I like to be extra mysterious with mine when I'm, when I'm in the club. And I'm in the back with my boys, scully down low, chilling, peeping everything, peeping the scene. Female, she walk up, she was kind of drunk, stumbling a little bit. Next thing you know, she sees me. It's like, you know, I'm standing stalwart like a, like, like a soldier or whatever in her eyes. She just starts grinding on me, so I'm like, okay, cool. I'll accept the little the little wannabe tabletop dance from your little mama. It's all good, you know. <laughs> if it's for free, I'll take it, right? Next thing you know, the girl, she gets bold. She lifts up my scully to see my eyes and the rest of my face because the only thing that you can see when my scully is down low is, is like maybe from like the top part of my nose or whatever, like the bridge of my nose, I believe it's called, on down. She raised up scully. She opens her mouth and says, ooh, you's a cute black bitch. What? <laughs> a cute black bitch. I couldn't believe what she was saying. I was like, in the back of my mind, it had me like a female for two seconds. Like, why I gotta be a bitch? You know what I mean? <laughs> but, yeah, threw me, th took me by surprise. And she asked for my number. She made She made the moves, you know? Now, she had one hell of a body. I, I could admit that when she had one hell of a body. But when I met her in the daytime, oh, God. How could I put this? Okay, she had the body of, she had what they call a skinny, thick body. You know, where they with a female skinny at the top, slim at the top, but at the bottom it rounds out real nice. Skinny, thick, a pear-shaped female, slim at the top, small breasts, but ass for days when you see her. Yeah, she was skinny, thick. And I like them skinny thick. And she was dark brown. I was loving it. But, but, she had teeth like Baraka from Mortal Kombat. That's right. I ain't know whether to guide her to a dentist or put a mouth guard on, on her grill in case I wanted to go that far. You, you understand what I'm saying? She just had a grill that, that just screamed, I need braces, seriously. You know what I'm saying? I was afraid if she was making a mistake and bite me the wrong way or what have you, I might need a tetanus shot or something, you know what I mean? Well, anyway, after like a few weeks of talking to her on the phone, my God, right? She'd, al she'd always call. She always just text or hit me up, just bugging the hell out of me. And then... She started getting a flip out of the mouth when she, when I brought her around my friends or whatever, you know. She even said some, something. She even wished death upon my friend. 
like, I wish you did that because you did. I forgot what it was we, we were talking about, but out of the blue, she was like, I wish you did that. This is what she tells my friend. I'm like, you know what? My homeboy was like, he was vibing with her or whatever on the slide. And I was like, and I peeped it. I peeped it already. And he stepped to me. He was like, man, I, I, I get the feeling I get along with her better than you, man. You mind if I holler? I'm like, go on here, pal. Do your thing. Let I let him have that headache. Like two weeks later, he ain't even want to smash or whatever. He's dog on something because he was like, man, that girl is nuts. And I'm like, hey, you see how she was acting. You the one that wanted to press up on her, right? But bottom line, what if I had used everything she was doing, went along with her, messed around and got her pregnant? See what I'm saying? You have some guys that, that'll fall for the man-eaters, the one that'll just, like, if you chill chilling someplace and all of a sudden she step up to you and sit in your lap. You're like, wait, hold up. You, you, you sitting out there playing spades or dominoes with your boys at a picnic. She don't even know nobody. She just steps up and sits in your lap in front of everybody and get to vibing. You know, makes you her target because she think you cute. You know, they're, they're out there. And the thing about man-eaters is, is, is a few instances that you can come across with a man-eater. A female that's a man-eater, she can either... She can either be just sexually aggressive, and that's what she's looking for, and that's it, and it kind of helps you out. She, just, she she does the wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. It makes the job easy for you. Or she's looking to lock down a relationship with you, and she becomes a bit of a bugaboo. She's calling you all the time. She's hitting you up. She's seeing where you at, this, that, and the third, you know, and it kind of gets on your nerves or whatever. And some of them, the ones that are bugaboos or what have you, they... Oh gosh, that's a, a bunch of that's an emotional floodgate that's there that you really don't want, you really don't want, because you know they'll mess around, try to get to stalking you, get to bothering you, this, that, and the third, and you really aren't interested in it. It's such a huge turnoff because as men, men we're hunters, we're the pursuers. With most men, most people who I know, we're pursuers. We want to pursue a woman. Not chase. There's a difference between chase and pursuit. Chase is when you're being a bugaboo. You got, you're out here missing work and stuff like that, following behind her when you could be out there grinding or bettering yourself. Pursue is like, okay, I'll catch you whenever I can, and whenever you try to catch up with it, you, 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 you're putting your bid in where you can fit in and let her know that, hey, you need to come my way. You understand what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, the child support traps of some of these man eaters. See, some of them, some of these women, they're they're vindictive in a way, just evil in a way. And when I say evil, I mean, my God, it's it's it's. I mean, I'm trying to put this into words. Some some of the things that I've seen done to to my homeboys, you know, some of the evils that some of these females have done. Hey, the minute that the guy has a kid or whatever, yeah, because because what I notice with some of these man eaters, right, the company that they keep it should be some indication of what it is you're gonna deal with, you know. Like if you're dealing with a chick that's a bit of a man eater or a bit of a bugaboo herself, if you see that her friends are in relationships where they're complaining about their baby daddy all the time. They're hanging around their cousins or whatever that that's always in and out the club, wilding out. You know, they they acting like down here we call them shones. If they acting like shones, sluts, thoughts, t h o o t h o t or what have you. If they acting like that, then uh, okay, we have a caller. Somebody calling in. Okay, caller. Um, go ahead, give you peace. Say what you got to say. Okay, okay, I guess we lost the number. I guess the call dropped. All right, it's all good. It's all good. We'll give you a chance. We'll give you a chance. Go ahead and get a pre better phone, dog. Stay off the prepaids. <laughs> Stay off the prepaids, cuz. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. No, just try to call back if you can, all right? Anybody that has any information that they'd like to give, just go ahead and chime in, all right? Just chime in. The phone number, if you want to hit us up. The phone number is 
347-989-8183. That's 347-989-8183. You can call in. Please, please, I welcome you to the swamp. Don't be a fly on the wall. Be a dragonfly floating around. You understand what I'm saying? Come on, baby. Now, like I was saying, with some of these man-eaters, right? Some of these man-eaters, like, they, 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 ah, all right, they, their company that they keep, I swear, man, the company that they keep is either their cousins or their friends are always in the club wilding out, acting like some shones, like I said, down here, or some thoughts, and or, or just complete bitches with an attitude, always complaining about their baby daddy or baby daddies, plural. You understand what I'm saying? Two, three, four kids. And it's just a doggone shame what's going on, you know? And if you see that their friends are always complaining and they telling you about how their friends is wilding out, oh, she is such a house, she always, she cheating on her man, doing this, doing that. It's nine times out of ten, if her friends and stuff are acting like that, what are you going to expect? It's a strong chance. I'm not saying that it can't happen that she might, you know, be trying to change her life and pull away from negative energy or what have you. I mean, if she is in that point in her life, all right, cool, she wants to make a change, fine. You can open up to that. You can try to make something happen with that. You can learn and grow with one another. But if she ain't on that or what have you, then you sort of kind of got to leave that alone. You see what I'm saying? So remember, if she's always complaining about her friends being raggedy, her, her friends acting like some sluts, wilding out, cussing out their baby daddies and stuff like that, kind of want to leave that alone, straight up and down. Now, another thing that you got to look out for, now, th- th- and what I'm bringing up now that with the whole who friends she hang with and stuff like that, it's the investigation part. It's the getting to know you part. You see... A lot of us men, like when we're younger or whatever, in our 20s, early 30s or whatever, we're looking, many of us are looking to just have a good time, you know? We're just trying to skeet and dip. You understand what I'm saying? Rip and dip. Um, Wham, bam, thank you, man, if you will. You know, one night them, and that's it. We don't wife them. We one night them. You know what I mean? (laughs) And, yeah, that's all you want to do. You want to just have your fun and dip. And... You know, if that's all you want to do, all right, that's one thing. Just put on a condom and be smart about what it is you're doing. Now, with some of us that's looking to try to be like, okay, I want to try to find me a nice girl, figure something out, because I'm in that stage in my life right now myself, looking for somebody that's decent to get along with. See what I'm saying? Somebody I can sort of kind of wipe up out here. You see? But, you know, i got to take my time. With that, and with that being said, you, whenever you come across a woman who you feel you can date, take first rule is take your time. Take your time. Get to know them. Get to know them. Talk to them. Really do your investigative work. You know, you see what I'm saying? Don't try to jump in right away. Really learn to get to know them better, you know? Really take your time because you, you're you looking to try to introduce this person to your family, all right? You're trying to bring them around your peoples. You see what I'm saying? It's not just a one-night thing or what have you. You're really trying to make 100% of your world part of 100% of their world in order for you to move forward, in order for you to grow. You see what I'm saying? So the first step, as I said, is to take your time. See if they're crazy. Because in the beginning, yeah, they may play cool, they may play cordial, you know, they, they put on a great first impression, but... With time, after like three to four months, in my opinion, some people eat save in six. That's when they start to show chinks in their armor. Like if a female, like when you first meet her, she came off as a good, sweet, 
person or what have you, after a few months, little things, little indicators of who they really are that turn you off, that would turn you off with any other woman when you first meet them. If those signs start to show, question the person about it. Question them about it. All right? And if they stories don't match, if they if they BS is catching up to them, then let them go. Let them go and leave them alone. Straight up and down, you leave them alone. You really don't need that headache. So first thing is take your time. Now, if you wish to pursue with the person or what have you, a certain a relationship, if you will, really see, really just keep in mind the things that they do. If if they're if they say one thing and do another, or their line of communication is not clear because they want to keep you in the dark on some things, they, you know they start showing that they shady in a way. First, well, first sign of trouble. Trust me, you want to leave it alone. You don't want to just try to ignore it and be like, well, maybe it'll get better with time. No, it won't get better with time. That's just how they that person is. If after a while they start to really seem raggedy, then you leave them alone. You don't need that headache. Trust me, you don't need that. Now with man eaters, they can come in any shape, size, or form. All right. They can be in any racial group, any ethnicity, any nationality. So you can get that out your head. I'm sick of some brothers. I mean, not, not even that, man. I, I even come across some white dudes that, that sat there and, and clowned their own kind. I've met some white females that, that open their mouth and, be, and will clown their own kind just so they can date other people. And those kind of people, I leave them alone off rip because you ain't got to look make your own kind look bad by dissing your own kind just to show that that you don't like them or whatever. That's that's not cool. That's not cool at all, you know, because good and bad comes in any shape, size, or form. See what I'm saying? So do understand that even, yeah, she could be sitting, you could sit there and be like, if you love Asian women, okay, she could be the finest Asian chick you ever come across and y'all vibe and you cool or whatever, but then she's a total bitch on wheels. She wants you to come home at a certain time. If you don't call her within two minutes of texting or whatever, she going to raise hell. Like, nah, man, you don't need that. You don't need that. Because think about it. If this person is doing all this shisty stuff or being controlling, talking all kinds of trash about you, to their friends and stuff like that, but then smiling in your face. Just imagine when you have a kid. Just imagine. Just imagine if you get married or 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 get a place together. It's going to be even worse. They're going to be crying all the time, complaining, and talking about you don't love me like you say you do, and you're like, oh, come on. Really? I got to put up with your shit? Nah, man. Nah. You cut it off ahead of time. And, yeah, with some people, they be like, well, I've known her for, like, two, three years. We put in some time. We can make it work. No, man. No. Yeah, you may have put in time or whatever. You know this person, but do you really want to keep going living in misery? Do you really want to keep going living in misery? That's the point right there, your happiness. Do you want to be happy? Now, with all of that being said, if you, after seeing, you know, after ignoring the fact that this person is batshit crazy, after ignoring the fact that they ain't right for you, after ignoring the fact that, okay, the sex is good and they're kind of there for me so maybe I can make this work, if you still want to be on that, hopefully things will change and get better. If you If you're still on that, then... This is what you do in case you knock them up. In case you skeet raw, you make a mistake, and you have a bundle of joy coming. All right? While they're pregnant, just try to be there the best you can. Try to be there the best you can. Be supportive. Okay? Show that you're out doing something for the kid. 
keep all your receipts. Keep all receipts. And my boy, he was breaking this down to me. He was saying that um, if you and the baby mama is about to get into it or whatever, then send the money as a money order and keep the receipt. You know? And my boy was telling me this. Like, make sure you keep track of everything that, you, that you're that doing in terms of spending because when it comes to child support, when it comes to child support, they mostly look at what you're doing financially. That's the main thing that they give a damn about, really. If is the money right with what it is you're doing with the kid. Now you can, if you've been out of work for a while, but you're there with the kid all the time, you know, being a parent, not babysitting, because a lot of people be sitting there talking trash like, oh, uh, I babysit my kid. Nah, son, you parenting. It's a difference. You, it's there forever in a day. Being a parent is a 24-hour, 365, five double-time on leap years even job. So you ain't babysitting, you're parenting. So be sure as a parent you cover your bases. Now, another bit of advice that that I've seen some of my homeboys do, and this is after the kid is born. After the kid is born, if the girl is raising hell and she's bitter and she's tripping and, and she's going off like her friends who are also bitching and complaining about their baby daddies, if all of a sudden she starts doing that, what you do, put yourself on child support. Put yourself on child support. And if the kid is with you all the time, like the, you, you mostly have custody of the kid, this is even better in your, in, in your corner. You know, you can sign what, um, I think my boy calls it a petition. Uh, it's a petition, a visitation. If the, if the baby, if the kid stays with the mother, but if the kid stays with you, just show, just establish proof that the kid stays with you. That, you know, I'm, I mean, and with a guy, with men or whatever, you have to pretty much show with, to, <laughs> without, Without any re- any reasonable doubt, pe- reasonable doubt, period, that the kid stays with you. If you show that the kid's always with you at all times or whatever, you know, the, the, whenever a certain thing, uh, like like say that the daycare, like uh, the number, the address over there, over there, is the uh, the daycare is in your you the father's your address. That's a good sign. See what I'm saying? Just show, establish that the kids are always with you or stays with you, period. All right? Bottom line, once you've put in the forms, the proper forms, because it's different in every state. It's different in every state. Once you put in the proper forms for the, um, child support orders in terms of payment and visitation or whatever, and you show that you're taking care of your responsibility as a man, then they can't trip. The judge, if she tries to take you to court or whatever, the judge would be like, oh, dang, well, this individual has been handling their business from day one. How how could you say this about this man when it isn't true? You see what I'm saying? Whatever she had to say, whatever stunt she going to try to pull, all of that is going to be destroyed right there. Right there in the court, judge is gonna shake your hand and be like, "All right, sir, we apologize for the, for the mishap." Now, one thing that you can do to sort of avoid that situation, and my man's and them put me on this: when the kid is born, and the, and if you have some doubts, this only if you have some doubts though. If you have some doubts on on the kid being yours, right? What you do? Don't sign nothing. Don't sign no 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 birth certificates. Don't sign a damn thing. Just wait and see about getting a blood test. To see about it, straight up, get a paternity test. You really have to fall back now. And it, like two individuals told me this. I'm not too sure how true it is here in the state of Florida, where if a guy gets a paternity test. 
and it proves that you're the father, then you automatically got to pay up or what have you, all right? You automatically got to pay up. It, and I'm trying to remember if it, how true that is. I'm not too sure how true that is, but they say that once you do that here in the state of Florida, they're automatically throwing you on child support. Like I said, I'm not sure how true that is, but in my opinion, just duck and dodge by not signing nothing. Don't sign a damn thing. No birth certificates, nothing. Even if you're married. Yeah, some some females will be like, but we're married. How dare you even say something? Like, nope. I don't care how long y'all be married. I don't care how long y'all be married. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if anybody wants to chime in, school me on, on how, it, how it goes on your neck of the woods, how the rules apply, just go ahead. Dial up the number. The number is 347-989-8183. Just press 1. Just press 1. And you can open your mouth. Ask a question. I would like for you to chime in. Give me your insight of what it is that you've heard and what you can add on that can help us out, us guys out. All right. You guys call in. We're going to take a commercial break, quick five-minute break. You guys take care of yourselves and be sure to call in 347-989-8183. Peace. This is City Hampton of the HSDO Law Mission. Utilize the ancient universal powers of nature. For ages, gemstones have been an integral part of holistic healing. With their unique molecular structures, they possess the ability to emit healing energies that tune the mind, body, and spirit. Gemstone therapy is a subtle and effective way to help introduce new and positive energies into your life. Gemini Creations, Gemstone Consultations, are unique and an effective way to calculate the best gemstones for you based on your personal life experiences and astrological information. These consultations help to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of the gemstones that work best for your energy. With your gemstone consultation, you will receive a gemstone consultation report comprising of a list of recommended gemstones, as well as a complimentary prenatal chart. Gemini Creations also provides custom created amulets, gemstone elixirs, gemstone jewelry, and a variety of gemstone formations. To learn more about Gemini Creations, visit us on www.geminicreations.newshop.com. Spelled G E M I N E Y E Creations. N U W S H O P.com. And like us on Facebook www.facebook.com backslash Gemini Creation. Peace and blessings. To hit them three words, it's not mine I'm sorry for being a product of the same hood For not taking care of my problems like a man should Sorry for hitting you for not using my hands for good And those unplanned trips to plan parenthood I can see this why you hate me now I was quick to raise the blouse and quick to raise the child For what you gave a nigga, you deserve more than riches And all I gave you was a trip to the divorce to clinic Blues with the black eyes and when I brought my fist it's turn around and get you on my kitchen. How the fuck I say I love you when I fulfill all your wishes? It's turn right around and call my mistress. Fuck you. Baby, look, what kind of man am I? Then I have no consideration for your damaged pride. She said you forgot to be my kid's father. Just waited till you meet that bitch, calm. 
Don't sign no 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 release papers. Don't sign no birth. Don't sign nothing. Even if you're married, don't sign a, a doggone thing. I don't care what anybody says. Okay? You make sure that the kid is yours. All right? Mommy's baby, daddy's maybe. All right? You don't want to like like in Jamaica, what, what we call them a jacket. You don't want to be raising a jacket, yo. For real. <laughs> All right, walking around here, you five three, five three, one hundred twenty five pounds, dark as I am, brown. Well, excuse me, beautifully brown as I am. Oh yeah, Just hold on, let me kiss my chocolate self. Ah. And the woman is beautifully brown as you are. Kid come out, extra light skin, looking like I'll be sure. <laughs> Six foot two. Like wait, hold up, that don't even out. See what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but bottom line, don't sign nothing, all right? Now, if you find out the kid is yours, take care of him. That's, that's plain and simple. Show up, spend time with the kid, just be there, all right? Be there. Because myself, I grew up without a father. And I had to figure out a lot of things on my own. Yeah, I had uncles, but it ain't like I, I'm close with my uncles. You know, and I had older homies that had fathers, so I rolled with them. And, you know, so we got along. You know, I I, I was on the wrestling team and was in activities where where I can have some camaraderie or somebody who I can kind of talk to or whatever that's, that's an older guy. So I was fortunate to kind of have that. See what I'm saying? I was fortunate to have that. But there's still one or two things that I have to figure out on my own. And it's tough. It's tough straight up and down. But, hey, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to listen. And that's how come I'm able to grow as a person. Because if you're not willing to learn and listen, you have two ears, one mouth, then you ain't going to go nowhere. You know what I mean? Yeah, so be there for the kid. If you're a father, be there for your son. Please be there for your son. Yeah, it's tough on both either sex of a child, boy or girl, but it's doubly so if a guy, a kid, a boy doesn't have a father that actually gives a damn. Not none of these what I call play play daddies. We don't need no more play play daddies. The ones that show up like maybe once a month, every so often, or something like that. You know, come through on holidays and birthdays give you money and that's it or whatever. Nah, that's a play play daddy, man. That that's a play play daddy. You you pretty much a sperm don't know, homie. You a play play daddy. You you ain't sit there and try to help me with my homework. You ain't try to school me on things when I was messing up or whatever. You know, you're a play play daddy. You just there. Damn near sperm donor. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so be a real daddy. When I say real daddy, I mean you there for every event. You know, you 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 busting your behind to make sure that okay, I ain't feel like doing my homework. Nah, mm-mm. Ain't hey, you no, know I ain't feel like doing your homework. You better sit your punk ass down, get them ABCs out the way before I strangle you, little punk ass. You, know, I'm talking about real daddy. See what I'm saying? Real daddy. All right. It appears that we have another caller. Uh, 570 number 570 Go ahead and chime in What you got to say baby Let me talk about that for the long uh, uh, He knocked up uh, No Hello Hello People are calling and hanging up 570 what? What's going? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I swear, y'all need to stay away from the prepaids and the metros, son. For real. I mean, I, I'm not advertising this or whatever, but you, you you guys need to step your game up, get a new phone plan, get a T-Mobile or something. I mean, hell, I'll even steal your phone. I know two base heads, I can get it $20 for a good phone, all right? <laughs> oh, God. Anybody else that, that wants to call in, the number is 347-989-8183. 347-989-8143. Just press 1. 
and you trust me I'll recognize you I'll shout you out and you give your two cents please now like I was saying don't be a real daddy all right your kid acting up yanked him up by the shirt collar and be like look look man you need to understand I'm doing this because I love you and need to be a better and want you to be a better person. Something like Fury is all for the boys in the hood. See what I'm saying? Just somebody that can give knowledge and just be there for the kid, for your kid. All right. So yeah, if you do have a kid from it, just be there. That's straight up and down. But if it ain't your kid, and this is this is the worst I fear. That why I say you you kind of gotta avoid. You have to find out if it's your kid first. Because I'm pretty sure we all had heard the story. Guy have a kid from a female. Come to find out years later, the kid's like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old now. Come to find out the kid ain't his. We done heard this a million times. Now, you can sit there and go to court, tell them, hey, man, this ain't my kid. But guess what? Most In most cases, from what I've seen and heard, they're going to say that's your kid because you've been there the whole time. They know you as daddy, period. Ain't no ain't no backing out. So, yeah, even if you, and with mo, and, and a lot of times, yeah, the guy, he'll probably still be around kind of, but it's a strong chance he's going to break away because he feels deceived. He feels used. He's going to feel like an idiot. He's not going to want to be around that. He's really not going to be around that. So, of course, they're gonna, they, they, you're going to be discouraged. The guy's going to want to leave. But you can't because now you're ordered to pay for a child that ain't yours. So, please. And that's another thing I wanted to bring up. If a female, if you tell a few, because I've, I've told females this, like, look, I ain't signing nothing even if we're married. I've told women this, and they've been angry at me, but I don't care. I really don't care. I ain't really got it all in the head sometimes. You know what I mean? I kind of got a few screws loose, but if I'm telling the truth, hey, man, it is what it is. And I tell them straight up that, look, <laughs> we can be married 20 years. I'm getting checked out to see if that's my kid. I ain't signing a damn thing. And if they want to cough and puff and get bad, you can go ahead. I really don't care. I'll tell it to you with a smiling face, sipping lemonade on a sunshiny day. I really don't care. And if they want to get in their feelings about it, like, oh, you don't care about me. Then, like if, if a female says that, if you tell a female that you want to get a prenup, prenuptial agreement and she want to raise hell, and if you say that you want to get, get, you know, check to see if that's your kid or whatever, and they want to raise hell, you kind of want to think twice about being with that person because that person doesn't see it your way. That person doesn't see how screwed up this system is toward men. And nine times out of ten, they probably do see how the system is toward men that they just don't care because it falls in their favor. See what I'm saying? The cognitive dissonance, that's, that's, it, just, it just warps some of their brain where they don't see it from your angle. You know, that's why I kind of respect some women that say, you know, there's a few females that that I know they didn't put the guy on child support because he was there. You know, they the guy was there every day. Yeah, the relationship didn't work out, but the guy's there for their kid, and they and they find a way to get along. And the female's not a disturbance in, in that guy's life, and he's not a disturbance in her life. They have a child together, and they make it work. I've seen it. I know a few friends, and they're, and they're making it work. So in some cases, you know, the woman, she she has sense. She, she knows what's going on. She understands that child support is a trap. But some women, if they're angry, bitter, and stuff like that, and, it, and they complain about something that can go in their favor, then you kind of got to think twice about them and leave them the hell alone, straight up. Yeah, but point I'm making is don't sign nothing until you know it's your kid because you don't want to be in that case where the girl's trying to pin a baby on you because some females that are man-eaters if they, or just sluts, hoes, thoughts, whatever you want to call them, that's running around sleeping from here and there or whatever, you know, their high heels are, are, are late, and, and drawers are laid up beside a different dude's bed every other week 
or every other night or however bad she wants to slut around, some of these females, when they do get knocked up, the person who they tend to go after is the guy that has a job. They will find the nerdiest dude or the most hardworking, honest guy who they can think like, dang, Ron Ron, Man Man, King Nick, ha ha ha. Man, these dudes, they, they wild. I'm, I don't know. I can't pull a fast one on them. They might trip. John John just got out of jail, so he ain't got no money. Such and such, he be in and out of jail. The other one, he he probably sell. I know he sell dope, but if she's smart, see some females, they be like, he a dope boy, so I'll get knocked up by him, not realizing that, look, if he gets caught up, eventually he's going to get caught up. That dope money ain't going to last, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but bottom line, they'll be they'll look around for the dude that got money. They'll be like, okay, such and such, he worked. He a garbage man. All right, he he been he been working for the trash plate uh, for for like ten years now. All right, I'm gonna say that is his baby. I'm gonna say that is his baby, and then come up with some kind of elaborate plot or scheme to say the date, you know, what day the date of conception happened. And it's their baby or whatever, you know? Now, if the guy is simple-minded, he'll just be like, Oh, I got a baby coming. Ha, ha, ha. You know? He's going to run with it. He's going to be happy that he's going to have a kid. But then next to you know, he finds out that the kid ain't his. You know what I mean? 18 years. 18 years. And on the 18th birthday, found out it wasn't his? <laughs> But some men they'll they'll fall back and be like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a paternity test. Well, I'm gonna see what's gonna uh, I'm gonna see what's going on. And then the minute they find out, they're angry because they like, dang, this girl really tried me. They see firsthand the evil of some women, not all. I said some, some, because some people, some guys, I swear, man, they 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 get hurt. And I understand, yes, it does hurt that this female, you know, she, she tried you. She insulted your intelligence. Or she played on your emotions. All right, that's understandable. But don't put all women in that category because then you walk around here with baggage just like some of these females that's been hurt that want to carry on baggage from one relationship to another. You don't need that. You don't need that. You know? So understand that some women are evil some women aren't that's why you take your time you really take your time to get to know the person beforehand all right now with everything that I've included with everything I've said just make sure just make sure that you get everything taken care of you go to court make sure that you show that you're taking care of your kid all right that you're handling your responsibilities because you don't want it to drag out. You don't want her to go to child support court because everything's going to, and you're not really doing what you're doing. Everything's going to go and fall in her hands. Everything is going to fall in favor of her. You don't want that. You really don't want that headache. Okay. Now, with that being said, getting up out of the swamp in a little bit I'd like to thank you guys for listening paying attention to what it is I've been doing here tonight hope the information helps you guys out everything has been brought to you by Anazic Media you can check out this broadcast and many more at um, www.blogtalkradio.com at Anazic Media forward slash Anazic Media um, be sure to check us out on, on Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash Anazic Media. And also check out the blog at anazicmedia.wordpress.com. You can check out all the, the stories, helpful hints, and information that they have on the blog. And, you can, and for everything that I'm doing, you can check me out. Check your boy out at facebook.com forward slash dragonflies in the swamp. You can also check out the rest of what I'm doing. This discussion is also going to be on PippinPens.com. That's my website for my publishing company that I'm soon to 
get incorporated soon enough. You can get my book, Dragonflies in the Swamp. It's a combination of short stories and what I've developed called anecdotal prose poems. It's my own creation. Trust me, you'll love it. It's talking about growing up in Miami, living on the rough sides, and finding my way to salvation. Okay? You'll learn a lot. I even have business advice in that book if you wanted to pay attention. Okay? Now, I'm going to put up links to, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have this on Facebook, on, excuse me, on YouTube soon enough. So I'm going to also put in links to financial advice, not financial advice, but um, excuse me, advice on what you can do to avoid some of these pitfalls with some of these women and especially on child support. Definitely on child support, some videos uh, on avoiding that because there's different rules for when you're not married from when you are married. See what I'm saying? I don't know a lot of married people that are divorced, so I can't really give you too, too much advice right here. But I can drop links to information where you can get your journey started on information that can help out, that can help get you kicked off and put up a defense for yourself. Because as men in this country, we don't have a lot of protection. We don't. We really don't. Especially when it comes to kids and stuff like that. Man, you get you get strung out you get strung hung high and dry, man. You get no love if you're a dude. If you pee standing up <laughs> you better watch your back straight up. That's my rule. Straight up. If you pee standing up, you better watch your back for real. Yeah, but bottom line, I'll definitely have that information in there in the YouTube video, and also you can go, to, you can check out. I believe Anna Isaac Media; they have a YouTube channel as well, from what I understand. You can go ahead and check that out as well. I mean, check out the, some of um, the posts and, and the knowledge that they're bestowing upon us that can help you become a better person. Because that's what this is about. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help guys become better men and watch their back out here. I'm willing to go out and do the research to help you out. You my brother. I'm looking out for you, so look out for me. Tune in next week. You can sign up, like the Facebook channels, like add me as a friend, King Nick Anthony, on Facebook, King Nick Anthony on Twitter. Check me out, and I'll be sure to give you the new topic all right topic i'm gonna come up with it i'll i'll figure it out but you, um, trust me i have a few ideas that you're gonna want to learn from all right you're gonna learn from it i'm gonna learn you i'm gonna learn you we're gonna be out of here in a few minutes um once again check us out peace stay blessed